Hey photographers, it's Kevin Kubota here and today we're going to cover how to assemble your Luna Grip. Your Luna Grip comes in this handy dandy carrying bag with shoulder strap and fits perfectly in the side of your camera bag so you can take it everywhere. When you open it up, you're going to find some goodies inside including the Luna Grip. There's a little bolt on the side here which we'll assemble in a moment. You've got your bracket, this holds your speed light some poles, and a standard Westcott 5-in-1 reflector. First thing you want to do is to assemble the bracket onto the actual Luna Grip. Best thing to do is just hold your finger on the back of the bolt here, undo the nut, lay the bracket into the slot there, put the washer on, and tighten it up. You want to use the top hole on the Luna Grip for most applications. The lower hole can be used if you have a very tall transceiver and you need to move your bracket further away so that the flash head is fairly centered. But for most uses, the top hole is the best place to start. Okay, you've got your bracket attached. Now you want to adjust it for your particular flash setup. So you want to get your speed light and put on the transceiver that you're going to use, whatever it is um, that you use with your flash. Some flashes need transceivers, some you don't. And you want to position this bracket so that the speed light head is basically centered in the center of the Luna Grip opening. So I'm going to lower this bracket just a little bit. And you'll notice there's this uh, multi-position cold shoe here that allows you to slide in and out for different distances. And also you can rotate it by loosening the screw a little further. Uh, you can rotate it horizontally for some of your transceivers that are fairly large. And what you would do is then rotate your flash head sideways and mount it on it like that. For this instance, I don't really need to turn it sideways, so I'll keep it in a normal straight position. Loosen up the thumb screws, slide your speed light into place, and tighten down the thumb screw here. And you may need to adjust in or out a little bit, so make sure your speed light is centered. Tighten down all the screws. You want to make sure that everything is tightened down uh, really secure so your flash does not fall off. So double check that all your little nuts are nice and tight. Thing is locked down. And the position of this should be fairly centered in the, the middle of the Luna Grip. Okay, I'll double check everything's tight and it's good to go. And at this point, you won't need to change that positioning uh, unless you change your flash setup. So I would take the, the flash off before you assemble the rest of the Luna Grip. All right, next thing you wanna do is open up the rest of your goodies here. This is your five in one reflector. And what we're going to do is use this in diffusion mode. The primary use of the Luna Grip is a diffuser for your flash, but it also works great as a reflector holder. As you can see here in the back, we have one assembled with a reflector on it as well. But I'm going to take this cover off and assemble it as a diffusion. There's your diffusion disc. These are the three arms, and these are simple to uh, install. You simply expand them like a tent pole, and they snap right into place, ready to be assembled. Your next step is going to be to attach the disc to the Luna Grip. And it's really easy to do. You'll notice on the Luna Grip, you've got different holes with markings. There's S for sassy, M for more sassy, and L for large sassy. And that's corresponding to the size of the disc that you're going to use. Now the kit comes with a 40 inch disc, which I think is about the ideal size for a really nice soft diffusion or reflection, but you can use down to about a 20 inch disc. The small holes will work with the 20 inch disc, the medium with something in the 30 inch range, and the large or 40, 42 inch size disc. So uh, all it changes is the angle of the pole. You just put it into the different hole and the angles change to fit the disc. I'm going to use the L uh, because we're using a 40 inch disc. To attach your poles to the disc, Simply rotate them outwards, hook them onto the edge, and then lightly bend them in. If there's any resistance, you're doing it wrong. It should go on nice and easy, but still hold perfectly secure. Put them about equidistant around the disc from each other. Doesn't have to be exact, although if you do want to make it exactly one-third of the way each way around, I've got a great tip for you. The way to do that is to put the arms into the holes you're going to use. In this case, it'll be the L, large disc holes. Lay your Luna Grip on the ground is the easiest way to do that. And simply lay your arms 
right over the disk. Then we'll take a marker pen, a silver Shopri works great, or you can use a paint pen. And you're simply going to make a mark on the edge of the disk just under where the arm aligns. One on each side, and you're set. Now you know where to attach the clips in the future very quickly. Now that you've got your poles perfectly in position, you attach them to the Luna Grip. You're going to line up one of the poles with the bottom hole that lines up with the handle first. And just slide it right in there, and it should slip in pretty easily. Find the other hole marked with an L on the side. Slide in the other one, and the L hole on this side, and you're all set. There you go. Now you're ready to put your flash back on. Take your flash, put it into the bracket, and again, always double check that your bracket is nice and secure. Tighten those little thumb screws up, double check them. You don't want your flash falling off in the middle of your chute, and you're good to go. Now, the Luna Grip is designed to be very portable and easy to hold on location by your assistant or yourself if you have several arms, so you can hold it from the handle. I also like to hold it from the top of the ring sometimes. It gives you a nice balance to it if you're moving it around. But if you're by yourself, I mean, one of those lonely photographers with no assistant, you might need to use a light stand or something to hold it. And fortunately, there's a quarter inch 20 standard thread on the bottom that you can attach to a tilting bracket or a light stand or even a tripod if, uh, if you need to. And that way you've got a cheap assistant to hold it for you, just like we have set up on the unit in the back here, the tilting bracket. The last thing you want to do before you go out to shoot is to set your flash zoom to match the back of your disc. One of the cool things about the Luna Grip is that you can change the look of the light simply by changing the zoom setting on your flash head. In other words, if you want a tighter, uh, more defined lighting pattern, you can zoom your flash head to the maximum, illuminating just the center of the disc, and you'll have a nice kind of a spotlight with a gentle fall off. But generally, you want to use the most area on the back of the disc as possible. So generally, you're going to want to set your flash head to about 24 to 28 millimeters so that it fills the entire back of the Luna Grip disc and gives you the softest, most even light. You're probably going to love your Luna Grip so much that you never want to put it away, but if you do need to take it apart, just remember these simple steps. Take your flash off first, make sure it's safe, put it in a safe place, and then you want to remove the poles from the handle before trying to remove the poles from the disc. Simply bend them outwards, separating them from the disc. Do the same with the others. Collapse your poles, and you're good to go. That's it. You may want to remove the bracket from the Luna Grip to store it in your bag, but that's up to you. For more information on the Luna Grip, visit fjwestcott.com or lunagrip.com.